Like the Taiji in the Taiji likes you It's way too early but I think it's good to do You can't pronounce it but you also like the Qigong I'm glad you're joining in, it shouldn't really take long, let's go Good morning, good morning, how are you guys doing on this bright and breezy Monday morning. I'm just, uh, I'm just sitting here uh, reading all of your comments before we, uh, we, we were going live and all of the, the weather forecast around the place. It seems to be, apart from, apart from Warsaw, which is lovely and sunny, uh, <laughs> open windows and light breezes coming through how wonderful is that but um yes it's it's a monday morning and come rain or shine or whatever the weather we're here we're here we do our thing it is the last monday in may the 27th of may today can you believe it so let's get moving shall we do make sure you have your safe space to practice in, non-slip floor, everything to where you're comfortable. Let's start with feet together, two hands pushing sky. Follow me, deep breaths. Let's breathe in, clasping the hands, and breathe out, stretch. Breathing in, and relax, breathing out, same again, breathe in, breathe out, Breathe in, relax, one more, Okay. All right. Very good. Very nice. Let's bring the feet apart. We're going to roll through these shoulders. <clears throat> I am going to say hello and good morning. Good morning to uh, Jean. Hello. And to Lynn and also Yola and Richard. Hello, Louise. And hello to Alison and Lizzie and Danny. Hi, you guys, and whoever else is out there joining in. Big rolls through these shoulders. <laughs> Get the movement going, easing through the body. Breathe. And then, of course, we take the movement and sink into the body rolling through let's breathe out <clears throat> all the way down to the ground push through the feet coming back up all right good let's roll these shoulders in the other direction Lots of movements. And try not to move just your arms. Sometimes I see this and that's not the shoulders going. So pick up with the shoulders, rotate through these arms so we get a nice movement and roll. 
All right, and sink. Rolling through the whole body down to the ground. Push up, down. Okay, all right. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of tapping. We're going to take a loose fist, or you can use a hand if you want to, if it's uh, easier for you. We're going to tap, starting underneath the collarbone, nice and gentle. We're going to come down the inside of the arm, up the outside, all the way onto the shoulder. Let me go again. Get everything flowing, moving. Okay, we can do the same on the other side. From here, down the inside, up the outside. Again, just get everything moving. Oh, hello to Alan as well. Oh, you're still getting your trouble with your video. Uh, here now, good morning. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> All right, we're going to carry on tapping. We're going to tap from right into the small of the back above the hips, coming around into the hips. We're going to come down the outside of the leg like this all the way around so that you can come up the inside and we come over the hip joint and we can go again. Yep. From here, down the outside, all the way down, all the way down, round, up the inside. One more. Just as far as you can get to. Okay, as far as you can comfortably get to. All right, very nice. Wiggles, jiggles. We're going to wiggle through the fingers like this. Just give them a good a little bit of a stretch, a little bit wiggle. Nice and light, we'll move through the wrists. Elbows. Shoulders. Okay, gently through the neck through the length of the spine, coming all the way down till we get to the hips. A little bit of movement through the legs. All right, we're gonna have a look at these toes then, shall we? So we're gonna sink the weight on one side and push these toes back. All the way from big toe to little toe. Coming back again, really relax. Pay attention, one by one. Okay, then we're going to move through the ankle nice and loose. Remember with this one, you can always pick up the foot if you want to. So long as you're not gonna fall over, we're all good. Let's move through the knee. Or like this. Moving through the hip. Forward and open. And again, if you're nice and steady, we can come up and out. Okay, same to the other side. So we start nice and soft. Bring our attention right down. Feeling these toes. Okay. Good. Ankle. Nice and soft, pick it up if you want to. Nice, well balanced, let's go through the knee. 
all like this. Okay, moving through the hip, forward and open. Okay, some nice big circles, nice and steady, moving up and out. Hello also to Janet. Janet is here. And Klaus, hello to you as well. Yes, you can add some stretches at the end. Absolutely, you can. We're just moving. Get the body waking up. All right, very nice, very good. Let's stand for a moment or two, shall we? Let's bring the feet <clears throat> directly underneath the hip joints. Okay, relax. Take a deep breath. And when you breathe out, feel the weight of the body sink. Let go. Don't hold on to anything. Feel the tensions in the body melting away, sinking, sinking, till you can feel the feet on the floor. Feel the weight evenly placed around those feet. Nice and soft through these feet. As you soften the feet, feeling that lightness lift. Rising up through the body, soft, open, floating, all the way up through the whole length of the body, coming up through the top of the crown. And keeping the head tall as though suspended by a thread from the ceiling. We'll take a deep breath, breathing in. And as you breathe out, letting go. Feel the weight of your body and hanging, sinking down, supported by the legs and the feet on the floor. And breathing deep breaths into the belly. As you breathe in, feel the breath drawn down Filling the belly, the belly expanding. As you breathe out, just letting go. Clasp the hand. Slowly raising the hands overhead, just rotating through the shoulders. Arms up. Breathing in, push up with the hands, down with the feet. Breathing out, relax. And we'll twist, coiling from the ground up.
Okay, coming back. Twist. And coming back. Lift, extend. Relax. Nice deep breath. Coming back. Lift, extend. And relax. Okay. Coming back. Letting go. Feel all that lightness in that space. Okay, very good. Let's bring the feet a little bit wider. We're going to come around, gently tap the body as we go. Everything moving, let's come out on the heel. And in on the toe. Okay, very nice, very good. Grab your cups of tea or whatever you have. I'm going to come and have a look at all your messages. Let me see, let me see. Good morning to Jean, who says hello to everybody. Uh, Qigong live stream, yay. Uh, what <laughs> excitement can we look forward to today? Hmm, what interesting one do we have today? The weather is mild, part cloudy, with rain expected later. But no, we don't care about it. Actually, we've had a lot of rain lately, but now the garden is blooming it's beautiful uh, Lynn light if not bright starts to the day in Milner thought and uh, not too shabby 13 degrees that's decent for us isn't it uh, more rain and thunder forecast for later oh well Yola good morning now Yola's got it good here after the recent rains here in Warsaw we can really enjoy the sunshine and temperature already 27 degrees that's nice. Since I can't go outside to do Qigong, I have my window wide open to let the breeze in and it's lovely. You see, I'm channeling that. That, that feels good. <laughs> Richard, good morning to you. The clouds are gathering, but all is well. All is well. Uh, Louise, hello. Uh, we are happy for some showers this morning after two hot and dry weeks. Two weeks of that. Gosh, yes. You see, then you're very grateful for the for the rain. Alison, good morning to you um, from the Clyde Valley. <clears throat> uh, the rain continues, sometimes very powerful. Goodness, that's kind of how we've had it here as well, actually. Uh, as it passes, the birds sing out in wonderful chorus. Time for practice with Tina. That's me. You know, it's, it's lovely this time of year, hearing all the birds out there as well. Good morning to Lizzie. Uh, oh no, your boiler has broken down, but you're going to deep breathe and do your qigong. It has its uses, right? We know, we know how to handle the situation, at least in part, if nothing else. Good luck with that, Lizzie. Uh, Danny, good morning. Tiny bit of sunshine with you, yay. But will it last? It's the UK. We don't know, never never seems to. Alan, hello. 
uh, you, you made it in despite your video troubles. Well, I'm glad you're here and I'm glad Janet is here too. Uh, the sun is trying to get out with you, Janet, which is great. And Klaus, Klaus is here a little bit late. You can do the stretches, some more stretches at the end. Ready to move your body. That's what we need to do. Um, I mentioned habits this morning in my post before the live stream and, um, you know, small habits, you don't need to try and change everything all at once, but little habits that you take in, you know, I, I talk to you guys sometimes, um, you know, if you're brushing your teeth, hopefully that is already a habit that you do. And so let's employ standing properly with that. Feel your alignment, feel your feet on the ground, you know, and let's make that a trigger. When you're doing something, we can start to build in patterns of something else. Little bit by little bit, done regularly. That can change everything. It really can. Today's move. Today's movement. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the whole summer thing going. So I'm just, I'm just going to go full on summer. We've, we've a few weeks, must be about three, just over three weeks till um, we have actually already the summer solstice, would you believe? So I'm just channeling that. Now today, what I actually want to do is look at a couple of movements from the Wudang uh, Qigong, the five animals, and for summertime, Summertime uh, being associated with the heart, the fire element. Uh, we're going to look at the animal with that, and that is the snake. Now, the snake is all about coiling and darting. And we, we use this, we use this idea, this feeling to get the movements through the chest, through the rib cage. When we exercise the heart, it is much more about easing tension, giving space. We know this uh, with our arteries. We want space in there for things to flow and move. Um, and it's the same around the heart. We don't want tension here. We want this nice suppleness. Um, and the heart channel, of course, is coming to the little finger all the way from underneath the armpit. The associated organ with the heart is the small intestine, which comes from the little finger and back up, okay? So movement and feeling to the little finger in this stretch is very important. We also have the pericardium, which is the protective sac around the heart. Um, and this is something that, that we want to be mindful of. And that pericardium channel comes down through the center into the palm of the hand, the middle finger, okay? So the movement through the arms, through the rib cage, into the hands and fingers, particularly little finger and the middle finger. That's what we're gonna be focusing on. So this one we're gonna start off with the feet a little bit apart. And uh, the first thing that we're going to look at is a, an idea of, um, it's called rotating heaven and earth. So we're going to come from here, come a little bit closer. We're gonna sit down and we're going to come from a ball holding posture. So it doesn't really matter at the moment which hand is on top, so we're going to, to repeat in both sides as a symmetry here. So the idea from here is that we have a, a rotation. So the arms come around and back to here, except we've swapped them over. Okay, let's do that again. But as you can imagine, it's not just a movement, a choreographed movement of the arms. There is a sense of the whole body being involved. So we're going to start by being smaller, if you like, everything sunk into the body. Then when we do our rotation, it's like you're taking hold of something 
um, like a like a stiff steering wheel that you want to turn and you engage the body and we're going to spiral out like a Catherine wheel from the center of your body along and out to the ends of the fingertips and then we soften back in again okay let's do that again in Okay, we may or may not be back. I think we might be back. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right, I don't know how much you caught and how much you didn't catch, but let's keep going. Right, so we rotate and then we're going to expand. Okay, coming out, coming out, coming out. Letting go, coming back in. I'm back, hello, Rainy. <laughs> Back, Lynn, Lizzie, yay! All right, we're still going. <laughs> we are going to rotate. Nothing's gonna stop us. Coming in. So again, just to cover this again, as we do this expansion, the bottom arm stays curved, a nice continuous line, shoulders to fingertips. The top arm push through the wrist on the little finger side, particularly back at last and then softening back in. Okay, let's do this a few times. From the center of the body, spiral. Out to the palms, the fingers, coming back. And from the body, really open underneath the armpits. The bottom arm is curved, pushing through the wrist. Feel the stretch, the little finger. Let go. And again, we rotate from the center of the body, spiraling out. There's a kind of pressure created that we then let go of, settling back in. And then again, expand. Bottom arm just stays the same shape, it just goes out wider. Top arm pushing through the wrist, let go. Okay, there's another move after this that I want us to look at. So. Whatever side your bottom arm is on, we're going to shift the weight over to that side. Bring this palm out and it's going to come up like a wave that's going to crash over as the other one moves down. And we push sideways, shifting the weight. And it's like you're leaning against a wall here. The bottom hand with the little finger forward most, fingers down the top hand, also little finger forward most, but fingers up, okay? And we've got this bit of a twist with this bottom arm stretching round. Feel the twist, let it go, relax, and we do the same again. One arm up, one arm down, coming over and push sideways. Relax, release, one up, one down, push. Relax. And feel this sort of sweeping over as a softness through the body, but we start to build a pressure sideways on that we again release. So be careful that you're not leaning with this movement. When you come over, your body is on top of one leg that's supporting all of your weight here. And then we relax, we release one up, one down. Push sideways. Feel that pressure again, not leaning nice up and down. Relax. And 
feel the effects through the rib cage. And also bear in mind, your rib cage isn't just at the front, it's at the sides as well. Okay, all under here, feel the ribs a little bit through the back as well. Relax. And push. Coming back, moving over. Push. Okay. Let's take this hand, come up. I'm going to come down. All right. So what we have got really is just two movements at the moment. We've got the rotation and expansion, darting and coiling. And then we have this sweep from side to side. We're going to do uh, a few of these on each side, but we have a little bit of an opening and a closing that we can do with this as well. So our opening movement, we're gonna step out into this, is first of all, gathering three times to the belly. <clears throat> so as we gather, we want to have a sense of expanding out and then drawing in. The thumbs are going to come together, navel one palm on top of the other. Like I said, we'll do that three times before we come to hold the ball and start our movements through. And then once we have done a number of these, we're going to then do a close whereby we do a great big expanding through the whole body before we sink back down again and come back. Okay, so just follow me. This is our Wudang snake. And let's just bring our awareness again to the body first of all. Feel the feet on the floor. Nice and relaxed. Stepping out. Bring the palms to the belly, gathering three times. to hold the ball. Rotate.
time each day. Go into bed. Expand. Release. Go into bed. And so we shift weight so One more time each set. Sweep, stretch, release. Sweep, stretch, release. Listen. Feet into the floor, expand. Reaching up as the feet sink down. And sinking through the whole body. There you go. Doesn't that feel like you've been kind to your heart? So much better. Thank you very much for joining me. That is us for today. Always a great way to start the week and always a great way to have you guys join me. Always. So, taking a left thumb. <laughs> Mashing, thank you very much <laughs> from here. Well done, everybody. Thank you. Have a great week. Take care. Bye.